All right, let's start today's episode. It's of the Undrafted Hockey Fan Podcast. So today's episode, we're talking about the NHL's 2022-2023 suspension so far. I've had a big issue with a lot of these, um, and I it's more so I want to I want to get your opinion on whether I'm correct on my opinions or if I'm crazy because to me, like there's some of these that are fairly egregious that I just don't think are debatable. Um, I think, of course, everyone is. You know, the Department of Player Safety for the NHL never gets it right. Oh, let's be honest. They never get it right. They're never going to be like, oh, yeah, this is the correct. You never like, this is the correct call. No one ever thinks that. So today I wanted to go over some of the ones that they have that are their, they've done so far. They haven't gone past the three game suspension so far. Um, so we'll see. And actually, the most was actually $102,000 forfeited. And it wasn't even the three game suspension. So. I'll say it's a little bit pricier player to say the least. So, so let's start with uh, the first one. Then we're gonna switch over to our TV view. So we have our first one up here. I, I just took screenshots of all these for right now, just so that we have them, um, so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm looking at. You can go see the video. I'll actually put the videos in the description below, um, so that you can see from the safe player safety uh, link to see what I'm talking about and kind of get an idea of what's happening. So this is uh, on October seventeenth, twenty twenty two. Uh, Evgeny Kuznetsov of the Washington Capitals had a high sticking penalty on Kyle Burroughs. Now, this was a one game suspension. Uh, he forfeited tw- uh, $42,000. Now, the problem I have with this one is this is so the, they were given a one game, one game suspension. I don't know if you can see this right now, um, but this, this stick is moving. And no joke, if I click two frames, it actually it goes here. And then it disappears because it hits his face. It hits his face. So my issue with that is, hey, you're not supposed to hit you on the face. That's not. That's not good. That's not good to say the least. So um, that my issue is is that it's the start of the season and you're starting to precedent where this guy, he's literally he's recklessly swinging his stick around and he's smashing a guy in the face. And and they call it. I mean, it's a high stick, but you're giving him one game. And even that. Um, even the. Uh, player safety video he said this is intentional this is intentional so if it's intentional the intent was to hurt and swing if it happened in his face maybe that was an accident but it was intentionally swung so i'm saying this is a minimum at least three games for me um to me that makes that just makes sense because one game for this just doesn't seem like enough you're it's again you're intentionally swinging your stick if that's a weapon you're mind you we just saw patrick kane or patrick kane evander kane you know, had sk- skates on his wrist and he cut his wrist and he's out for four, uh, 12 weeks or something like that. So you're, you got to recognize that you have a weapon in your hand and on your feet. You have to be more careful and you have to recognize that accidents are going to happen, but this is intentional. So this is an intentional thing and you're going to give him one game. That doesn't make sense to me. That's just, that's stupid. That's so stupid. Again, I'm, I'm, again, I'm recording a video about <laughs> player safety uh, no one likes player safety. They never get it right. Look at the comments on Twitter. They, they're always wrong, always wrong. So I very frustrated. And again, the problem is this is, is at the start of the season. So you're setting a precedent of what this looks like, right? And so it, actually, as we move on to the next one, so again, one game. Again, I I think this should be three, four, five games. In my opinion, um, you don't intentionally hurt people like that. It's not you don't want that in the game. Um, it's just not. It's not smart. It's not good. It's not healthy for the game. It doesn't help the game grow, and that's what we all want to see is the game grow. So, the next one we have is, let me go to the next one. Michael Rasmussen. There we go. There's my guy right there, Michael Rasmussen. So, as it's, it's similar to the uh, other one, it is another stick to the face, and this one actually is more the helmet. But you can see. So, what ended up happening is that uh, Michael Rasmussen. Um, this happened on October 27th. Um, Michael Rasmussen of the Detroit Red Wings, high stick David Krejci from the Boston Bruins um, in the head. And so what happened was, is that Michael Rasmussen, um, if you're watching the video, by the way, you can kind of see me. He goes and he he's coming in with his right shoulder, right? Comes in with the right shoulder, checks, and then rolls off. And again, he's, he's left-handed, right? So he's got his stick like this. Like, <laughs> here you go. Like this. There you go. Here's this the stick, two stick, right? So he's going like this. So he goes and he checks and he keeps his, and he does this too, right? So he came in with a low shoulder like this, came crashing, and then he swung and with it. By the way, I agree. He needs to be responsible for a stick as well. So I think, I think, so he actually ended up getting two games out of this. 
Um, he only salary forfeited was fifteen thousand dollars. It's almost sixteen. But with this, this is a two game suspension. So I'm like, okay, this this looks like an accident. You can see the video, watch the video. It looks like an accident. And so you're telling me a guy that again, I I get. I'm gonna keep going back to this Kuznetsov one. The, the intentional ones are my are the ones that I really big issue with, right? This seems accidental. And I'm sure I'm a Red Wings fan, right? So like, I agree. I think two games is probably right, right? Two games is right. If you hadn't had to set the precedent that when you swing your stick at someone and you whack them in the face, then you're calling that a one game. You're saying this will happen to here on the boards. The accidental swing stick still his face did cause injury. That and I think that's the one thing that they took into consideration. This caused injury as opposed to the high stick that uh, Kuznetsov did not have, um, did not cause injury. The issue isn't the injury. I think that should be kind of taken into consideration. But it's intent. It's intent on the play. It looks you're taking your stick like a freaking baseball bat, and you're gonna smack people in the face. Like get out of here. Get don't 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 try and blow smoke up my butt. All right, you know like it's dumb. It's dumb. Again, this is an accident. Call it two games. I'm a call. I'll, I'll take it. Two games is fine with me. I'm totally good with that. Uh, but again, going back to Kuznetsov, that stuff. Three, four, five. In this case, you're telling me this is this this accidental is is two times worse. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. So I, I two games is appropriate for this one. Kuznetsov. I'm I'm gonna probably you know, by the end of this video I'm gonna have probably a better idea of what I want on, on Kuznetsov right now. But I'm like I said we'll just we'll stick with it. I think three four five games. I I'm, I think I'm, I'm probably going with four. I think it's probably my most comfortable verdict. So let me know what your thoughts are because I again I, I got some opinions on some of these guys. So we we'll move on to the next one. This one happened November fifth. This is the the second. Uh, the second penalty that happened on November fifth. Um, this is um Makachuk right here, a newly new edition of the Florida Panthers right here. He actually high sticked Jonathan Quick. Now this one's a little harder to see. I actually had to watch this video a couple times uh, when it first came out because I was like, I, I don't understand what what happened. And you can see right here. So the stick is right here, comes up along right here, comes across, and right here it's curved and it's going into it's going into his mask. So you're, again, we're talking about intent here. And if you watch the video, he could have pulled a stick away, but you can see it kind of, he kind of, he kind of sticks it out. And by the way, look, look uh, who is that? Anderson, Lucas Anderson is backing up. So he's pushing uh, to check uh, to check off it. So again, intentional, probably two games. That makes sense, two, three games. I mean, he's a star. And Brian, and mind you, another th issue thing, I didn't talk about the Kuznetsa thing. And similar with the Tuchuk, these are stars. These are people who are being paid very well, right? And you know, I think John, he uh, Tuchuk got like a, a nice eight, you know, eight-year contract. You know, high performer. I mean, they're calling him like a, a generational talent. I don't see it. I, I I think he's great. I think he's a great player. I think he has really great talents. Clearly, he was a hundred-point player last year with the Johnny Goudreau and the Lin uh, um, Lindholm. Line out in Calgary, but I don't think that's it. So, anyways, he is taking a bigger hit, but he also makes more. So, but you're didn't do intentional stuff like this. You kind of get in the games, and it's it's someone's eye, right? Like I can understand, like if you break an arm, you break a bone or something like that, and you snap snap someone's wrist. Like those are gonna heal. Like is it, is it good? No, it's not good that they're gonna they're gonna do it. Don't break people. Don't <laughs> this isn't a PSA. Don't be, break people your stick over people's um, bodies. It's just it's no bueno. But I think you just need to you gotta recognize that that's that's an eye, right? It's your goalie. It's an eye, and I mean you can it, replacing the players a lot easier than replacing a goalie. I mean that's why there's so few of them. There's only sixty four, is a thirty two starters and thirty two backups, right? And then you get into third string, and the quality drops off quickly. Typically, um, we're seeing that with Toronto, right? They had Murray, injury prone, uh, Shalgren or not Shalgren, um, Sam Zonoff, They both got hurt. They go to Shalgren. And they had to sign a guy again. This is another topic we can talk about later. But you know, they didn't have enough contracts to sign in their goalie. All the rest of their goalies were in Europe or couldn't sign contracts. They had fifty contracts. They actually had to trade Obey Kubel, who we'll talk about later. Um, they had to trade or they had to put him on waivers, and uh, Washington ended up picking it up. But we'll talk about Kubel later. Again, I, I think this one's this one's properly again properly rated, right? Two, maybe three games, but properly rated. Luckily, there was no injury. Again, taking some injury injury into consideration intent was bad was it gonna swing and break a bone no but it's a dick move let's be honest so 
Let's move on to the next one right now. So we got uh, uh, the next one that also happened on November fifth, um, twenty twenty two, was Josh Anderson. Um, this is some BS. So, um, this is the uh, Josh Anderson, November fifth, the Montreal Canadiens uh, had a boarding penalty against Alex Petrangelo. Um, this is a two game suspension. Um, this is some bullshit. I'll be honest. I'm not trying to swear. I'm trying to, I'm trying to help my numbers like i say uh so i'm trying to swear as much because youtube doesn't like me to swear but this is some crap man this is stupid this is super harmful and this is again not good for the game this is not a good thing for the game because what's happening is is you can and mind you again this is in the video too they talk about how how anderson comes in and you can and the the rule is the rule is with boarding is that if you can see the guy's numbers, you shouldn't be checking them, right? That's why you see like a shoulder to shoulder, right? You know, you don't see a chest to back. It's just, or even a, a shoulder to back. You never should go to back because it's it's dirty, right? The guys are trying to protect, protect, protect the buck. And what ends up happening is that Anderson comes, sees the numbers and smacks them in the back. Of, back. And, and this is going into the boards, right? And you can see these players right here, over here, right? Over here, over here, up there. Right there. Look at them. They're backing away because they're seeing this hit coming. And they know it was like, oh, right? Like, it's it's not a good hit. It's not good for the game. It's dangerous. This guy's going in head first, right? You're talking about concussions, the CTE, the traumatic brain injuries. You're talking about breaking your neck, right? Which could then, you know, you, that's permanent damage in your not, nerves and spine. That's just dangerous. I They, again, this is where the Department, the department of Safety um, screws up my way. <clears throat> this was a $59,000 forfeit of his salary. The guy got two games. He got two games. Anderson got two games for this. And it's frustrating because this is dangerous. Again, we're talking about dangerous. And it is. this is also about intent. So we're talking about with it being intentional. You're, you're shoving a guy face first into the boards, right? Oh, we're going to talk. Oh, we'll talk about the next board next time. I'm heated again. Again, not because of Red Wings player, but because I because I think it's some bullshit. So we are very lucky that Patrick Angelo did not get hurt. Okay, that was the biggest thing. He did not get hurt, and so you're that is the one benefit I think that Anderson got. The one he did not get hurt, and but the thing is, if you watch it, it is so bad because it's it's you're watching him hit, and he got he got up right away. Thankfully, right, which is why I think he got the two games. This again, dangerous play. I'm thinking, I want to say three or four games. Probably it's it's not two. I'll tell you that much. It's not two. By the way, we also had two suspensions earlier in the preseason, um, but I'm not covering those because those are four guys that I don't even know any of their names. I don't even know who they're all against, and I couldn't find video on it. I couldn't get screenshots on it. So um, moving on. But Josh Anderson, dangerous play. I'm say three or four games. I actually now I'm. Yeah, I'd say three or four games. Four, four games. I'm, I'm an even guy. So let's go four games, because that just makes sense to me. It's, it's a dumb play. You know, if you want to consider salary into it, call it three games. It's fine. I mean, but this is not a two game. This is not a two gamer. This is, this is dumb. Again, dumb, not dumb, and not good for the game. Don't, don't pretend like this is like, oh, oh man, we love this stuff. We love this. I like a good hit. Give me, give me a good open ice hit. Give me a guy flipping over the boards. I'm okay with that, right? Flipping over the boards keeps the momentum going. But you gotta have a guy smacking face first into it, just trying to protect the puck. Um, not again, not helpful, not healthy for the game. And you're, I mean, I, crazy little an animosity, but this is this is not a healthy way to do it. So, I disagree with this one. Um, I think I've only agreed with Michael Rasmussen's one. That makes sense again because it came out as an accident. I think I, I agree with the Chuck one too. I think that, that makes sense. Two games makes sense. Dangerous, but again, not fully harmful, right? So it is Zai, though, again, like I said. So um, we're going on to the next one, which I could show you. By the way, this next one, I, I, could, I could show you some bloody screenshots in this. Not like bloody like the F word, like the way the UK uses it. Like, oh, it's a bloody hell, right? You know, I'm talking about bloody like Matt Luff looked messed up. So I'm going to go to the next one. So you can see this. And the reason I grabbed this, this screenshot is because you can see, look at the back. His back is, this is at a 45 degree angle, like uh, Luff's back right here. And you can see those numbers straight on. That means his head, I'm grab my microphone. His head, you're, you're, you're doing this and your head's like this, right? 
because you're you're 45 and your face is hitting the board right here hitting the boards this looks dumb <laughs> it's very funny <laughs> so this that 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 makes sense to me i i and i like to me that that's the perspective that i picked up and that's why i picked this this, this shot but so again we're we're seeing another boarding call right this is another guy in the neck you look, he's on his knees he's on his knees man come on like he's on his knees right right there he's on his knees smack right in the fort by the way i don't know if you know this uh matt loft out uh, 10 to 12 weeks so what you just told me right so Slavkovsky, um check from behind boarding uh this happened on november 8th you're off Slavkovsky, you're off Slavkovsky of the montreal canadians boarding on matt Luff. um so the boarding on Luff, matt Luff, and 10 to uh, 10 to 12 weeks out that is dang again dangerous and intentional if you're gonna do that this is some bs he got so he got two games mind you he's only he's only making he's not his elc so he's making like he's got we lost 10 grand this is another four game by the way if you want if you're taking injury if you're taking injury to this right by the way, oh this is also uh so if you're taking injury into this you're saying that the petrangelo one where he got boarded and josh anderson hit him uh, again by the way i don't know if you know this uh this is another montreal canadian second montreal canadian we have here so you're saying that if the one that doesn't cause injury is two games the other one where you knock guy out by the way this is like his like second or third game maybe first game in the nhl it was he hasn't had many love has not had a, a lot of games in the nhl he's been mostly uh an ahl guy but you're telling me that this is the same the same punishment as a uh the one where he got up by the way this is also a first round draft pick right no sorry my phrase Slavkovsky is not a, just just a first round draft pick he is the number one overall draft pick from 2022 so what you're saying you're you're giving a preferential treatment at this point in my opinion you're and it's and it's you're setting again you're setting a precedent for this kid i understand this is first but you're you're based on the issue the people have with the department Sa department of player safety is that they're inconsistent and there's no precedent they don't follow precedent right some of these kids like like if you look at i mean some of the penalties call or some of the suspension called are dumb right but i'd rather you call a little harder in the start right because then people are less like like give a couple more games like give a couple more games at the start because it sets precedent then and you can you can always scale back but to try and scale more people get even more upset about because it it's their team but with this boarding isn't that a lot of knocking him out for such a long time uh it's unfair it's it's really unfair and i think this is i don't care if slavkovsky is a um number one overall draft pick um this is a five gamer this is this is a five gamer get this get this out of his game i know he plays a hard game um, but get this out of his game man because again I, the, and so i'm taking the canadians the petrangelo one where he got hit i'm saying four for that and i'm saying for the slavkovsky i'm only adding one more game on it because of the injury well let's add injury right i'm trying to take trying to take the player safety's perspective but i'm also trying to get my spin but I, my spin is that hey like this need these some of these need to be more that just it just makes sense um, it's again dangerous clearly it's dangerous this guy's got stitches all over he got 38 stitches on his face it's stupid man like and i and i'll give it to you you know what uh slavkovsky once he uh after the game or something when he was able to get a hold of matt luff he apologized to him and they were texting i guess and he said it was all good but like that's some bullshit man again it's some bullshit so my bad for swearing but it's just some crap so Anyways, we're on to the last suspension of the regular season of the 2022 NHL draft or uh, draft uh, NHL season so far. So it is on November 11th. We have, um, guess what? We have another Washington Capital again. We talked about uh, Nicholas Albe Kubel picked up on waivers from the uh, Washington Capital or from the Toronto Maple Leafs uh, by the Washington Capitals. This is the illegal. Uh, this is a uh, happened on November 11th. A legal check to the head of Calfa of the Tampa Bay Lightning. Um, uh, this is a three-game suspension and a sixteen million dollar um, uh, salary forfeited. Uh, so with that, it is a check to the head, and I I can see the thing is is that like Obey Kubel. I, the one thing I would give him, I think this is close to appropriate. The reason I say that is Obey Kubel went to go hit him. He tried to go hit him. 
I think Foot slowed down when he dumped the puck because Obey Kubel thought he was going to continue up down the ice. Um, it's cl this is a close call. So this is three games suspension, right? It's a close. I'm saying it's almost accurate. I'd probably, again, this is this feels more accidental. It was intentional hit, right? Again, kind of like the Rasmussen one. It was an intentional hit, but it was an accident in the way it happened. I don't think he intended to hit his face. Um, or Calfo's face. He's, he, face. He did not end up returning. I think he came back like a, uh, maybe the next game, or he, you know, he thinks he maybe skipped a game just out of precaution. Um, but I think this is again dangerous. We don't want in the game. I think three games is probably accurate. Three games is probably accurate for this because um, it just allows it allows a little bit of wiggle room. But you're also it's. I mean, no one's gonna be happy with it, right? But this one makes sense. Obikovel is a tough tough player. You know he the way that he grinds um but i think that we need to recognize that it's still not good we don't want in the game so i think three games is probably appropriate i have the big issue with the boarding ones and the swinging of the stick those are the big ones as you can see i am now I, again i guess i'm trying not to be biased when it comes to red wings players uh but i am but i i don't i don't think my commentary was unfair i don't think i said anything that was that was outlandish or that it was i mean i don't think i'm wrong but i could be wrong I'm open to it. Like I, I tell me I'm wrong. Like I said, that's one. <laughs> that's one of my favorite things to say. Is they like tell me I'm wrong. Like I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just talking to a microphone right now. So, hey, you can too. And uh, the way you can talk to the microphone on my YouTube channel is go to my YouTube channel and uh, leave a comment. So, anyways, so that is the. It's gonna wrap it up for today. The um, episode of the NHL 2022 season, 2022 2023 season of suspensions so far I, i'm i'm got some frustrations but let me know if i'm wrong i mean like i said i'm just trying to take in consideration that some people are stars um uh, and so you're going to have favoritism um you know this game is entertainment so you the reason that we enjoy them as fans you know i'm a, a larkin fan like a cider fan and like you know raymond fan so i don't want to see some of these guys out so why is it for people other teams want they don't want to see their favorite player favorite player out right like Montreal doesn't want to see the number one overall draft pick out any longer than they need to. Um, so I kind of get it. But again, there's, there's just about getting the right calls in the game because now we're seeing um, betting markets and we want to make sure that there's safety of the, of the players, right? These players are young and they when they retire from the game, I think the average lifespan in the NHL is like 2.3 or 2.4 years, something crazy like that. So you figure you're going to go for a couple of years and like Matt Luff, like he's, doesn't, he's, he's like a – a veteran but he's, he's not young right he's, he's gonna play a couple of games in the nhl he could get a couple of call-ups but like imagine if this is the end of the season right? he could be done and now he could have a concussion concussion and all these all this broken stuff in his face um for a lot longer than he wants to which is and it could be and he's gotta live with this rest of his life we heard that with with chris draper with the um the new hit uh infamous fight if you haven't seen the e60 documentary it's like two hours long it's absolutely worth it i totally check it out it's a ton of fun it's a great doc and so uh again i just, just try and find the right right try and find this isn't about parody i know a lot of people talk about oh like the nhl is parody and everything that's what the point of this is and it's like no like it's about like these key are people they're, they're people too so just treating like people and make sure that they um they have a life after this right you know you don't want to make all this money to um not have health afterwards you know spend time with your kids or remember your kids names right i mean CT is another whole story. If you haven't seen Adam, Adam Wilde's podcast or uh, the SDPN um, Agent Provocateur uh, podcast, where they talk about CT and some of the issues with that with Alan Walsh and Adam Wilde, it's great. Check out that stuff; it's great. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Uh, it really, really gives a perspective on like life after after the game and um, just having these kids, these kids, these uh, players retire or retire well. Uh, I recognize that there's 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 a lot of issues with traumatic brain injury cc is a cranial traumatic e i forgot i forget the other one is but um i said i i'm totally in support of it like i said we want to make sure that we have a clean game an appropriate game and ones that we can have minimal injuries because we want to play the game that we love so anyways let me let me let me know what your thoughts are welcome to the uh again welcome and thank you for listening to the undrafted hockey fan podcast and uh, i'll talk to you soon let me know where i'm tell me i'm wrong and uh love you bye